welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna. For those of you who are new here, if you are new, you should totally subscribe right down below. It really helps me out and I would greatly appreciate it. So in today's video, I decided to sit down and just do a tutorial as I wait for Hurricane Florence to come and um, party here in Asheville. So yay. But today I decided to film using the Ring the Alarm palette from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. So yes, I did a poll on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me there, you definitely should. It's just Jenna Danielle Beauty. But yes, I did a poll on my stories on whether you guys would like to see a tutorial using the Ring the Alarm palette or the Dark Magic palette. And the Ring the Alarm palette literally only won by a few votes. Like not many whatsoever. So I was really surprised because I kind of thought everybody was going to want to see the dark magic over the ring the alarm just because I do a lot of warm looks on my channel anyways but you guys wanted to see the ring the alarm palette so here we go this is what I'm doing today I incorporated every single shadow in this palette so that's a ton of shadows that are on my eye right now but I really just wanted you guys to be able to see how each shadow performed and really just give my feedback on the whole palette and every shadow that is inside this palette and so yeah I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you want to I'm gonna put this palette down why am I wearing that if you guys want to see how to create this makeup look right here then please keep on watching. Bye guys. So firstly, I'm going to go into the Armed and Gorgeous palette first. I did this in the last tutorial I did, um, and I'm just going to take that VIP shade right here, and I'm just going to use that to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone, just because, at least for my skin tone, because I'm pale as heck. Um, this is the lightest shade that I can really use to um, highlight, use as a highlight for my inner corner and brow bone. So yeah, I'm just going to grab that from the Armed and Gorgeous palette and that's going to be my first step. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I have no idea what look I'm trying to like do with this look. Um, so I'm just kind of like going in and seeing what I come up with. I just didn't want this look to be extremely similar to a lot of other kind of warm coppery looks that I've done on my channel. But I did do a poll and this palette won by literally a couple of votes. So everybody wanted to see the warm palette instead of the dark magic palette first. So um, yeah. Nobody can say anything if this look looks similar to any other warm looks that I've done because that's what you guys voted on. <laughs> so don't come for me. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go in with Rush. It's that just second matte orangey shade and that's what I'm going to use as my transition. And yeah, I'm just going to pack that on in the crease area. Okay, so I'm just going to take the shade under my eye as I apply these matte shades. That shadow applied absolutely beautifully. I have nothing bad to say about it. It layered beautifully. Um, you can build up the color and it didn't get patchy or chunky. So I really enjoyed that shade. So now I'm going to go in with Alert, which is pretty much kind of the same type of color. It's just a tad bit darker. Um, and I'm just going to pack that into the crease as well. I'm going to try and incorporate at least as many shades that I possibly can from this palette. Um, if I can incorporate all of them, that would be ideal, but I'm not really sure if that's possible. But um, yeah, I'm just going to try and use as many shades as I possibly can from this palette to just create a beautiful look so you can kind of see how each shade applies.
I don't really have much to say about that color either. It was really beautiful and um, it blended very easily. I would say that I wish it was a tiny bit more pigmented, but it layered on fine and you can build up the pigment. So um, that was fine. So yeah, I really did enjoy that shade. So moving on to the next one. So the shade I'm going to go in with next is a mugshot and I'm just going to do the exact same thing. You guys know, building the shade up into the crease. One thing I will say about the shadows in this particular palette is they do have quite a bit of kickback in the pan, but I am surprised because you don't really see that fallout on the eye. Like it didn't really fall down a ton on my face. So that was pretty interesting. So that's one thing that I noticed. So the second shade that I'm now going to go in with is Siren right here. This is a really pretty kind of cranberry shade, but it has a tiny bit of little like pinkish sparkles in the shadow. So it is a matte but it does have some sparkles in it. So that's pretty interesting. I usually don't really care for shadows like that, but I don't know, I have a feeling that you're not really going to see the sparkles on the eye. But I'm just going to do the exact same thing. You guys know, just building that shade up into the crease. I'm going to use pretty much all the matte shades to build up in the crease area. That one had actually a lot of kickback. I don't know if you can see that, but look a lot more than the other matte shades that I've noticed. Interesting. The shade is as I assumed. You can't really see the kind of glitters or sparkles that are in the shade on the eye. So I'm kind of confused because I'm like, I don't really know what the point of having the glitters in there is for if you can't really even see them on the eye. But I mean, whatever, maybe it was just a fun little, I don't know not really sure but other than that the shade applied beautifully it was very pigmented but it had more kickback that I've noticed than some of the other shades in the palette but it didn't get all over the face like it wasn't a lot of you know fallout on the face so that was pretty um, a good surprise for me but now I'm just going to go in with the shade framed now and I'm going to do the exact same thing and if you guys are wondering yes I'm using the exact same brush throughout this whole entire tutorial um, if you are wondering it is the e38 Sigma brush this is a diffused crease brush so yes That shade was gorgeous as well, so I really have nothing to say about that shade. Now I'm going to go in with Secret, and this one I'm going to keep more on the outer V area, and I'm going to slightly blend it into the crease, but really focusing it on the outer V. Okay, we are finally done with the matte shades. Now I'm going to go in with a lolly right here and I'm going to apply that to the very inner corner of my lid. So that's just going to be the kind of first third shadow that I'm going to use on my lid because I'm going to use kind of a gradient of shadows using the shimmer shadows once again so I can incorporate like every single shade. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, 
that shade was absolutely gorgeous I have absolutely no complaints to say about that so now I'm going to go in with the shade boom right here and I'm going to apply that to the kind of second half of my lid so just right after that lolly shade and I'm just going to mesh those two shades together That shade applied gorgeous as well. The only thing I have to say about those two is for some reason on my lid, maybe it's just because they're so close together that you really can't see like that color difference, but they look very similar on the lid so you can't really see a huge like gradient from one shadow to the other. They're very similar in shade. So that would be the only thing that I have to say about those two shades. But like I said, it might just because they're literally in such a close vicinity to each other that you just can't really tell the difference as much. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Balm Butt because we're keeping this channel PG. And yeah, I'm just going to apply this as my third shadow. I'm not going to take it all the way to the outer V. I'm going to bring it kind of right here so I can keep that dark brown secret shade on the outer V. Alright, I'm going to go in with Secret again and I'm going to darken up that outer V and really blend out that last shade that we used just to make sure everything is blended and there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to go in with on camera right here. It is that gold shade and I'm just going to apply it right here on the bottom lash line just to really incorporate that color in this look. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I really don't know how safe this is. So crossing my fingers, I don't die but I really don't think it'll be that bad, but um, I'm going to use a lipstick in my waterline just because I don't have a kind of pinkishy, reddish eyeliner to apply in my waterline, and I really didn't want to use an eyeshadow just because then it kind of gets in my eyes and it just makes my eyes like water and hurt, so I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, I'm just going to use these two liquid lipsticks today. These are the Dose of Color liquid lips, and I'm just going to take Strawberry Pop and Extra Saucy, and yeah, I'm just going to mix these two shades together and apply it to my waterline. So I just applied my Lily Lashes in the style Hollywood and I also got glue in my hair. It literally exploded on my hair. <laughs> Love. So now for lips, I'm going to take NYX Soft Brown, right? Yes, <laughs> NYX Soft Brown Lip Pencil and I'm just going to line my lips and then I'm going to fill it in with Max Japanese Maple Lipstick. All right guys, that's the end of this makeup tutorial. My final verdict on this palette is extremely positive. I really didn't run into any shades that I didn't like. I think they were all extremely gorgeous and they performed beautifully. So I was very, very happy and pleasantly surprised with this palette. So I really like it. The only thing I would say about this palette is a lot of the shadows in the palette are very similar in shade. So as you can see, Rush and Alert, they are very similar in shade. Yes, they are different. Alert is definitely darker than Rush, but they still are very similar. And also I would say Siren and Framed are very, very similar as well. I would just say Framed is a little bit more warmer 
or not framed, sorry. Siren is a little bit more warmer and framed is a tiny bit more purpley. But other than that, they are very, very similar. So that's also kind of a downside. And also Lolly and Boom, I have swatched them separately and they do look different next to each other in a swatch. But on the eyes, as you guys saw, they did look very, very similar to each other. So that is one thing I would have to say about this palette that I don't love is that a lot of the shades are a little too close for my personal liking. So I would have rather had a few shades that are just completely different than a bunch of shades that are very similar in tones but that's just my personal opinion other than that like I said the palette performed beautifully and I loved pretty much all the shades none of them really disappointed me so yes congratulations Jacqueline and Morphe this is the second palette that I have tried out from the vault collection I have not used any of the other ones off camera except for bling boss I did use it one time before the video but other than that I have not used the palettes by themselves yet off camera so this is my first impressions on camera but yes I love you guys so much and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below that really helps me out and I would really really appreciate it but I love you guys so so much and I will see you all in my next video bye guys